So let's get this show on the road. Let us get some vehicles upgraded. I was going to sell that. Yeah, fuck it. I don't need the money, so I'll just upgrade this one. Minifick here. Minifick here. It's number one, baby. 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 Edelbrock. Yeah, Edelbrock. Yeah, Hayes. Yeah, Edelbrock. And Edelbrock. I'm so hungry right now. You got no idea. It's kind of sad, honestly. I shouldn't be this hungry. Wait, what? Did I even have supper last night? I ate a lot at dinner time, but didn't even have so What the hell did I eat yesterday? Did I eat anything at work is the question. Oh, I had that donut and coffee before work. That's what happened. It was like a morning in the afternoon kind of scenario there. <laughs> well, since I upgraded the Mustang, we all know what the Mustang I have the Mustang for. It's for the muscle car events and um, drift endurances. We're gonna go to some place that I know how to get continental drift. I think, I think this track is gonna be. Have I gone here yet? This is the track with the yellow things on the inside. So I feel like I'll be able to do it better because normally I get off by being too close to the inside. And if I'm and if the yellow lines are on the inside, then I'll get the bonuses on the inside. I mean I haven't drifted since I played this last, so it may take a while to get into the groove. And I may have to shut up a couple of times to make sure that I'm able to get it done. Okay. Three million point drift endurance. Anything I say shortened to the point so I can keep focus. More focus! Need more focus! Need more focus. See, the problem with this track though is that there are no yellow lines on the outside wall. So you're not going to be able to tell if you're getting really close to that, so you're going to want to stay to the inside. Karma Chameleon is playing in my head right now. I want to sing it so much, but I feel like I'll fuck up if I do. I'm sorry that I'm not commentating, but I need this focus. Why is the points going down? I'm getting so many. Oh, fuck! God fucking damn it! Fuck you, go already. It's the most annoying fucking part about Drift Endurance is that you know, once you get up to the two million points in like a Drift King, you know, you're good to the goal. But in a Drift Endurance, it's never enough. And then, you have to start all over again. From the beginning. And you gotta get all those points again. Karma Chameleon is still playing. This is horrible. It's distracting me. I'm trying to get as um, 
good of an angle as I can so that I can get all the points back. So I don't have to put up with this for too long. I'm so sorry for the lack of commentary, but I need this. I need this uber focus. If only there was someone right now to feed me while I was doing this. To like hold a smoothie up to my mouth and I would just drink that. I would drink that so hard right now. I could go for a smoothie, even though it's probably below zero outside right now. I could still go for a smoothie. You know, the worst part about, like, drinks is that they're all, like, specific for, like, certain, um, points in your life, like, coffee is for in the morning, and hot chocolate is for when it's cold, and smoothies are for when it's warm. Orange juice is for when you're sick, you know. And I'm like, fuck that. Free the free refreshments from oppression like that, you know? You should be able to drink something whenever the fuck you want to drink it. I'll drink a goddamn coffee at 11 at night if I want to. I will certainly do that if I want to. I'll drink an herbal tea bef I don't know when it's inappropriate to drink an herbal tea. I mean, herbal tea is just herbal tea. I mean, you could, I could go for that right now if I wanted. But, um, yeah, I, al I always want hot chocolate in the summer, and I always want smoothies in the winter. And I always want the Great Pine Baron so I can see him turn into splinters. And I'll always have a coffee at like 8 at night. But you know, when I drink coffee, what normally happens is like if it's, um, usually what happens with coffee is I'll, um, drink it and then I'll become, uh, more sleepy. And then, you know, I'd have to, I have to, you know, I have to, like, live my life and I'll be a little bit more tired, but around the three hours after I've drank in the coffee mark, I'll, um, oh, there we go. <laughs> Fucked up. Score 3 million points in Drift Challenge, and I got the however many you needed in the first place one. Got a prototype part that I don't need, and I got another prototype part that I don't need. Accumulate 4 million Drift Points, that's it. That's it. That's all. Could have at least made it 10 million, so it was a damn challenge. A darn tootin' challenge, man. Darn tootin'. To. But anyway, uh, I touch myself. Uh. You know what I hate when the radio decides to play a song like right as I'm pulling into the grocery store or right, right as I'm pulling it at, into the house? Like then it just starts this song and I'm like, should I go around the block one more time? Well, that's supposed to be the greatest challenge in the game. And I just completed it effortlessly. Pink Slip Drift King Showdown. Let's do it. Let's go back to Continental Drift. This is the easy track, I think, so... We'll go against, like, a uh, supercar, so I have an extra supercar, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be some supercar crew races. You know, on how long have I been recording? 31 minutes. Most of the first episode of this session is me being annoyed. I got a shot a few weeks ago. Didn't, hadn't felt better for a long time and now I'm just sitting here acting casually and I got a sore ass throat because that's all that ever happened in my fucking life. But anyway. You've made your last mistake, Kiko. Zonda's mine. Why would you bring a non-drift car to a pink slip drift event? Are you kidding, Kiko? Okay, this better not end up like Park 12 screwed. 
good thing we are not at South Bank Showdown, because that would happen. It would. You know it.